Welcome to the May 25th Stockbridge Cemetery meeting. Um, we do not have a quorum, so we won't be approving anything, but we are going to go ahead and discuss things. All right, does that make yep. sense? Um, and so, and thank you for your notes on the uh, meeting last, last, that was very helpful. So I will, there is some change, some oh, minor okay. change, minor changes to do. So I will do that. That's your grammar stuff. Yeah, it really is, really is for, for next time, <coughs> next time. And one of the things that we were talking about, so the next thing would be um, time issues, you know, the, <laughs> not, not time, but -Y. time. <laughs> um, we were talking about um, the last thing I think somebody said was go and do scoops of it. Yeah, yes. um, just, just spoons, yes. spoonful spoonful scoops. Um, so we were all, I think, envisioning these big divots, of right. yeah. two and a half inch pots and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. it's going to be slow, um, yeah. but that, you know, that's that's okay. Um, I had promised, I discovered this morning, that I would go back to Green Agers and find out what it would cost mm -hmm. to do uh -huh. to do them. So I can still do that, and I think maybe it'd be good if we talk to Hugh also. Yes, and just um, find out what the possibilities are. You know, is. All right. You have to remove the grass first. And honestly, there's so much. There's so much. Um, it sounds like if you take a spoonful scoop. and then just go over to another place and take another spoonful out of that out and put this other thing. Yeah, in. yeah. I think the time will eventually sort of take over. Oh yeah, grass. but yeah. I think it's a little slowish. I mean, I think it's like two or three years before it. Because I've got some in my garden that I've been sort of limping along for a couple of years, and this year I noticed this year, third year, it's looking much bigger. So, so that's. I wish you would take over my whole lawn. I've got a patch of it. Yeah, it's I know. So wonderful. So we'll talk <coughs> about that. Okay. Okay. So the next thing is the signs for the cemetery. Let's talk about what you know so far. <laughs> okay. So, um, Guy's sign, uh, I got back to them after we last met and said we weren't able to discuss the signs because of our timing issues, our constraints mm -hmm. during the meeting. And he said, um, Gary from Guy sign said, I'm so sorry we've been slammed and now we can't um, do anything for you until July. Okay. And uh, so that included. Uh, talking about the width of the letters and such, they won't even discuss that until we're willing to put down half uh, down payment. So he recommended another sign company in Great Barrington. So what I've done is confirm with them that they can do metal signs, but I didn't get an estimate from that, those folks yet. Yeah. So that's where we're at. Um, I think once we're able to put down a down payment, we can then discuss and get the, the a formal review of what the sign could look like. Yeah, mm -hmm. a, um, a good proof. A good yeah. proof, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So that's... That's 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 great. Um, that actually plays into the thing I was bringing up, which okay, is... Okay, yeah. So what's your... Well, it's an, it's an offer from Namkeg. They're interested in putting up good-looking signs opposite that area where they where they drive the driveway right? right and so he called me a couple of weeks ago and said you know we're interested in doing this and you know what do you think and i said well we're in the midst of doing lot signs so maybe you know do something temporary to get through the um, april business the daffodils and then we'll talk about it so you know we're not in a place to make a decision but he's willing to contribute what kind of signs are they I think for. he's looking for something that's nicer looking, and I, and I think it. I think I, I don't know exactly. I guess I don't even know what signs are down there. There aren't any signs. Oh, okay, there. that's okay. that's the thing. There's nothing down there. So okay. what this year what they did is they actually put up um, poles with uh, little bits pink of flags, pink flags. Yes, and, and walked along. You know, and so we had people on that sign. But he's thinking maybe something that's a little more permanent. He said it's just so easy to put up something, take it down, and forget to put it back up mm -hmm. the next week or whatever. So. so what is the purpose of that mode area with the pink flags? That is their area. Yes. Yeah. And so is that a, a new parking area during the daffodil yeah, season? The, yes, yeah, yes, pretty much the only, only time. Yeah. Well okay. they they do they were using it before for other things, other things as well. It okay. depends on what it is. Okay. I mean they have other events occasionally um, but not for the big things like October and December those are separate um, 
but I'm so I, we need to talk with him, I think, about what he's got in mind. Um, is, is he talking about signage for that for that side of the, the Nam Cake side, or are we talking about sign, you know, for signage on the um, cemetery? What, what's the what's the property line there? Basically the road. Yeah. The road the is road. the property line. Yeah. The road belongs to the cemetery. So um, at least oh, from, so that, that, from, that, from the pine, that, that whole the, pine road? No, no, the whole pine road is not Nom cakes, cakes, but <clears throat> I believe the cemetery line, if I'm remembering the map correctly, is um, the edge of the the bottom of the grass of Nom Keg, mm -hmm. and the road belongs to the cemetery, to the town. So I don't know where it splits though. Maybe when the road makes its um, turn up to the hill. Up to yeah, Nam Keg. Yeah, that 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 part of the whole thing is that's all Nam Keg. The going in and then going up. Mm -hmm. That's all Nam Keg. Right. Because I forgot I've forgotten where the Chote plot is because that's not part of the cemetery, right? Um, that and and the Cedric Pie are both right. They're um, both not. So town of Stockbridge. Yeah, but there's it's still sure, buried sure, sure. within though. It's right. Still buried within. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. So so um so you're gonna talk to this other sign company. Yes. Okay. And I'll get another estimate. Yeah. Um and how much yeah, so we don't know how much we're you're looking at the maps there. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know that. There's the old section. This is the newer section. This might be Sedgwick Pie right here. And I think the Shilt Lot is somewhere right around there. I don't think it's this. Oh, this is the new section up no, to the east? This is the, the old section up to the west. North is up. This is this. Oh, OK. Um, and the Shilt section is within the rest of the cemetery. It's not. Yeah, it's Although it, separate, it, it, but it's right. It okay. is. It is singled out. So, so here's the the boundary line. Yeah, and there's uh, Nam Cake here. Mm -hmm. Here's us, and that's where the road goes up. Yes, correct. Yeah. So that, that's, that's there's a, a little bit of there's a little bit of town cemetery then between the Nam Keg and the, the Nam Keg and the Choate plot. Yeah, I think this is um, Sedgwick and Choate maybe. That is and Sedgwick, then, yeah. And this is the road. Yeah. Well, actually, it's a little tiny bit of cemetery right there, but it's too small. Mm. They bought that land, the Sedgwick bought it in the 19, early 1970s, and it hasn't been touched huh. all these years. Oh. Yeah. So. I sometimes wonder about That's, that. Um, a little bit. Preparing for the future. <laughs> yes, they, they really are. Right. <laughs> so um, let me. Um, I'll do an. Actually, I'll do an email to to um, Hugh. Not Hugh. Um, Brian, the head of Nomkeg, oh, and okay. say what is. Yeah. Um, is that yeah. Brian Crewy? Yes. Yeah, that's him. So he's the one that's responsible for the tulips at the. At the post office. Yes, I heard that. Yeah, because he gave those to Laurel Hill. I think they were left over from the tulip. Yeah. There were, what, close to 500 tulips that were planted at the post office? Huh, wow. And then, the, of course, the. I wanted to put a sign out because um, mm -hmm. Nicole Zakaria, who's our, our, our planter now for the last couple of years, and she was all concerned because the the snowplow at the post office and that little wall garden <laughs> that goes from the post office building to the to the town sidewalk, um, the snowplow went down that far. Oh, this year? And you could see all these little bulbs sitting up. Yeah. Ah. And so it ended up that there were bare spots and mm -hmm. she, she was all concerned about replanting the bare spots. And I said, we should put out a little sign that says bare spots compliments of the snowplow. <laughs> <laughs> so people would realize what the hurdles are that we have to go through at the yeah, post office. It is with true. Plantings. It but is at any true. rate, I all digress. Right. <laughs> all right, so I'll email Brian and see what he's specifically, but he is willing to contribute toward signage. Mm -hmm. so huh. I think that would be, it might, could be a good thing. 
Um, okay, the water and the utilities at the garage. I think we should wait. I'm actually thinking maybe we maybe we got to uh, have a meeting in, in June in the cemetery. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, so that's something to. We're not deciding anything. We're yeah. just you know, um, but we'll wait and talk to talk to him. So then the next thing is the policies. Thank you for sending that out to everybody. I think the first page is wonderful. Your thoughts I'm, on that? I'm just. I'm glad you. Yeah, it's it's not at all what I would have expected. I was expecting this more sort of. You know, here are the rules, yeah. you know. <laughs> so this is really lovely. Yes, it is lovely. Um, is there anything? So you've got the definitions. So glad you put in the maps. It's really handy. Well, and thanks to Pat for that too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, th I think pictures just for people like me that are very visual. Yeah, yeah, no. and not necessarily verbal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anything else? The only comment I had was on the. Natural and conventional burials. Okay. I didn't see any mention of cremation. Okay. We could we could put that in there. Because I think it should be oh, included. Right. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Especially since more and more people are. Because conventional burial could be either full body or cremation, right? Um, would you call I, conventional? I, no, I would add cremation burial as a separate. As a separate, yeah, yeah. yeah. just to be clear. Yeah, yeah. Because um, yep. your diagram is for full body. It is, and so you yeah. know, I do think we should take up this idea in the future of um, you know we keep selling or if we're not selling. We keep <laughs> offering graves that are assumed to be for body burial. Right. And as, I don't know what the percentage of cremation burial versus body mm -hmm. burial is here in, in Stockbridge, but across the state, it's close to, you know, 80% pe of people want cremation burials. Mm -hmm. So we don't need to keep taking up this much space mm -hmm. for a grave space. Yep. Mm -hmm. So that, I think we need to consider that. Mm -hmm. I think it would be good to have a diagram for cremation. So if we if we decide to have mm -hmm. so, so multiple cremations within what was normally a full mm -hmm. body. Right. So we, we could show that, mm -hmm. you know, that there are potentially a four spaces for mm -hmm. urns that are maybe. Yeah. Could be one foot by one foot or 18 inches by 18 inches. We can talk to Richie and about where that. the markers would go for those too. Yeah, that's the well, typically, it, so these names, people, if I had a, a grave and there were four cremated remains burials here, those four names would also go on this monument. So, that, but what happens if they weren't related? Uh, in our case, like, because I won't be with anybody else. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Because I but, don't have any family here or anything. Right, but in your case, it would be your name alone. At least that's the way the bylaws are written right now. Am I right about that? So there yeah, aren't right, going right to be now, set, it's there family aren't going related. To, it's all family related. Yes. So, so this brings up another point that we've not done at the cemetery. Most municipal cemeteries don't create a little garden area that could be for cremation only burials. Mm -hmm. And there could be uh, tablet stones there and individual listings so that cremation burials often, people who want cremation often think of um, taking up a smaller footprint. And so this would take up a smaller footprint mm -hmm. and it would create a garden space. And instead of buying your own separate monument, there could be a monument, a community monument of individuals within town. Mm -hmm. And it could be single people. It could be couples. It could be, you know, mm -hmm. who knows, you know, a whole family could have what they would pay for is the inscription of their name on this communal monument rather than um, buying a separate monument that's going to cost what two to five thousand dollars for a simple monument so it's or the executor would purchase in your behalf right 
So um, what what would could it not be that we designate cremation areas so that that each cremation plot mm -hmm. uh, that would take up say half of that half, half of that would be half of this that there would be you could have a flat marker mm -hmm. ground marker yep we could do that on top of each one not necessarily does that have to be away from where the where the urn or whatever it is is no um could it be just on, right on top of i think there's a might be a problem with um just moving around the cemetery that, that they might still i have to ask rich i think he put some type of foundation under the monument even when it's a flat stone it gets crushed stone or something underneath mm -hmm. it or stone dust um, for large upright monuments they often get concrete footings underneath them uh, so in that case uh whatever's you want it to be away from the actual burial right so that you don't have to remove the monument <laughs> to put in a, another burial um right so yes it can be done what you're asking for can be done and so we should confirm with rich mm -hmm. you know how he approaches yeah. flat yeah. markers versus uh upright monuments i guess in my in my naive view of things there would be a plot with a marker run on top because nobody else is going to be buried there. Right. Unless you want to exhume the bot, the, the ashes for some reason. Right. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's, it's a possibility. Yeah. But we don't want, if you end up with a bunch of those, the mowers and things can't get in and out. Well, that's why I was saying if it were flat, just then flat. they could just oh, run right flat. over. Oh, right. oh, maybe that's one of the things we insist on. Insist on, yeah. Right. Yeah, you could have a separate section of the cemetery, maybe with smaller plots. Yeah, just flat stones for cremation. Right. Yeah, we, we uh, I think it's something then, we then we'd be able to get more people in. Yeah, well, that's that's the other issue. Yeah, right? the the only downside to that approach is when there's a couple making the decision and they both say, yeah, 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 I want cremated remains and they, they agree they both want cremated remains. And then who knows, 20 years passes and the second person dies. It's like, oh, I want a full body burial mm -hmm. now. So um, do you disinter those cremated remains, move them to another site or how, how do you handle that? So it's just, just knowing that people's yeah, ideas and requests change over time. Yeah, that's that it. person might just have to buy their own separate plot at that point of full one of the full size plots, which I right. suppose they could do. Right, right. This wouldn't be with their loved one if they right. changed their right. So that stuff. would be an available space for somebody else. <laughs> right, right, right. right. Mm -hmm. That yeah. would be one of those things that I think falls under the you know the review of the cemetery commission. Yeah, right. you know, gets to review that and yeah. talk about you know mm -hmm. with with whoever is running the cemetery at that point. Yeah. Well, I think okay. it'd be good to make some decisions and get those diagrams in here too, because I, th I think so too. And we should be talking more about cremation. And that's what it's why it's great that this is not part of the bylaws because right. you know, <laughs> we, we can change it. Yeah, know, right. I know. Yeah. Right now, it is still in the bylaws. Right. <laughs> We're still going by the old bylaws. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. So not, to, not to. Hopefully, not. So three months. Three months. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, that's. So that's May, June, July. Oh. It could be sooner than I, I thought it was going to be fall or something. No, well, it could be August if it takes three months from when the town meeting was. <laughs> right. Middle of June, Especially July, middle of August. Yeah, right. all right, that too. too. Well, well, we'll get there. So. Right. So, yes, I am happy to make another version of this um, related to cremation. Okay, that would be that would be and true. yeah. So I'll add cremation burials here, and I will also um, talk to Richie to find out if he How has the be, limit yeah. to the number of um, cremated remains he puts somewhere right now. I don't think he does. Really. I don't think he does. Yeah. From what, from what the things so, he said to me. Yeah. So. But I was thinking you and I should meet with him anyway at okay. the cemetery once you get this part done and just go over the whole thing <clears throat> okay. um, again. Yep. Um, just to get get some more information, you know. Yep. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Yeah, I think I, this is great. Yeah. I'm looking forward to. It. Does anybody know when the new 
town uh, website is going to go up. Are we still waiting on that one? Or, or no idea. I haven't heard. Yeah. Okay. Well, we do want to get this stuff on there at some point. Well, actually, we can't until we pass anything. So right. it may be it may be a little while. Maybe <laughs> we can do that. But all right. Well, that's great. Um, yeah. So I would say you know we can put this in, and as you get the cremation thing, modify it. So, you know, it's right. not like we have any. Right, right. It, we can change it at will. Right. These things, yes. Well, technically, no, because we're still under the old bylaw. No, no. I mean, once we oh, do. Once we, oh, yeah. yeah once yeah. we end, then, then it won't make any difference. At least this is would be, as we do things, we can still publish them because it's for us. It's That's not right. for. Right. right. That's right. Well, it's for the town, too. Right, right. But they can look at them, and then as we yeah. modify them, we just keep adding to them, and yeah, yeah, the same things come up. That sounds ready. good. So let me know when you're kind of ready to okay. meet with Rich. And okay, okay, that that sounds good. Um, and then the last thing on our our list is is benches. Um, we would we started just talking about benches. Um, was it who was it? I think Did it somebody was, make a request for a bench. No, or? I actually thought it was Pat. <laughs> it was yeah, I, yeah. And I thought that would be nice for because people that do go, you know, it's it's a big cemetery, and and when you're going through it, if you're if you're not particularly young, right, you may want to sit down someplace, and there's not really there is, other than sitting on a headstone or something someplace, which bad. we don't want people to do. Right, <laughs> right, right. So it would um, be nice to have a bench. Or two, yeah. I think well, two. And we could make them. <laughs> we could make them a money-making proposition too, because we could actually sell them if it was a memorial bench. Yep. Mm -hmm. An interesting idea. Because that's what we did on the Mary Flynn Trail. That's where we first started. Um, as a memorial bench, we asked for a certain price that would. It would include you know, like perpetual care or whatever you want to call it, because we periodically, as often as we should, clean them and restain them. Uh huh. Hmm. So, in, in but this... the town actually may makes those benches. Yeah. Uh, what uh, what material do they make them from? Well, it's concrete ends mm -hmm. and oh. slats and. The bench that they've made, we they've made two for us in the last couple of years, hmm. and one is up on Laurel Hill Park, mm -hmm. and up the hill, sort of as you're going past the Glen, up to go around behind the the park. Um, there's also a couple at the Gould Meadow near the. And the there's lake. one right at the Park Street cul-de-sac on the property that goes over to the Bidwell. Um, that comes around to the, you know, the playground that's over here. Uh -huh. Oh, there's one over there. Okay. There's one right off because Laurel Hill owns a 60 foot swath from Laurel Hill Park down to the river hmm. um, along the, the cul-de-sac. Mm -hmm. And um, right on that little path that goes from the cul-de-sac over here, there's a bench that was put in for Bob Baum's wife, late wife. And it has, um, it was supposed to have pressure treated slats at first. Mm -hmm. And then there was grumbling on the board when we mentioned pressure treated. <laughs> and so uh, it was changed to uh, cedar. Mm -hmm. Oh. And it's really a lovely bench. Oh, and the, t and the town made this, huh? The town made it and delivered it and put it in place. Wow. The one up on the hill was, was interesting. I would have loved to have been there to see it, but he did. <laughs> yeah. You did it before I even knew about it. Yeah. Hmm. So I guess they have the forms mm -hmm. to do the concrete, and they like to do those things in the winter. Okay. When they're, you know, they have time on more time on their hands because right. you know there's no grass mowing and right. maintenance going on. So okay, well, but they good. assemble the whole thing. It's very interesting. Um, so that would be right up their alley. Yeah, it really would. We have to figure out where where, where they go. Yeah, right. Yep. And that would be yeah. the place that yeah. Hmm. 
maybe you know like one in somewhere in the older section yes yeah, one thinking. in the back section one over in the new section yeah i mean potentially yeah yeah and scout it out when you're on your outing <laughs> See what he That's what I'm wondering. Yeah. See, see what he see. What was that? What what he what Hugh what Hugh thinks of it? Oh yeah. The whole, the whole thing. Of course, it's another thing to mow around. You well, that's, all, that's you almost have to have like a <laughs> uh, a like a packed crushed gravel uh -huh. base just so grass and stuff doesn't grow up around it. Well, actually, I'm wondering about putting um, like wild strawberry. You used to talking about wild strawberry, yeah. or, or just time, or just time. I mean, we got, we, we, we can, yeah, we can, we can. Because I'd rather do that than mm -hmm. than kept to. Because you have to keep re renewing that that gravel gravel force. You know, mm -hmm. it just doesn't. Yeah, you can tell when people have sat on benches because there's a mound up underneath yeah. the bench. Because yeah. when they sit there and they get up, their feet push yeah. the the stone and stuff. Yeah. 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 All right. When so. they start sinking in the ground, too, then you know people have been sitting on it. <laughs> yeah. Sinking benches we don't want. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we have one on the Mary Flynn Trail that's probably down about that far. On one side? No, on oh, both the whole sides. Thing. Oh. <laughs> it's like a kitty bench. <laughs> All right. So we'll talk this over with, uh, with Hugh and see how that goes. And I didn't put this on the list, but um, on Thursday, there's a, I sent y'all a, 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 a group, oh, yeah. yeah, about the two boys that are coming, the two boys, they're not two boys, <laughs> the two guys are coming in to do a talk about the cemetery. Oh, at, at the library. At the library, library at six o'clock, yeah. Um, I was so glad Wendy sent that to me because I hadn't really paid attention. Yeah, yeah. Well, we just finally got it kind of pulled together. So um, the other thing is that um, starting in June, and I don't know when in June, but maybe I'll find out more on Thursday. Um, that's when some of the, the work is going to be happening. You know, the, oh. uh, yeah. So the, um, well, all the things, the cleaning, the work on the sergeant tombs is starting then. And also the um, working with the town to uh, get people to get the town people to fix 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 the uh, the stones and then we have a couple of there i think there are three or four stones five stones that um have been have been sent at oh that we what did a request for proposal and um they got back somebody that is someone who else who's going to come in and actually fix those mm -hmm. separate from that the town would be doing something that oh. and, yeah so so all this is starting to happen in June, <laughs> but that's all I've gotten so far. So all this is starting to happen. So um, right now our next meeting is um, June 27th, but if things start to happen more quickly, we may want to meet a little a little earlier than that. Okay, I mean, just thinking as a possibility. Because our next meeting is what, June 23rd? June 27th. 27th. Oh, 27th, okay. Yeah, so it feels like it's, feels like it's far away. So we'll see what's going to be happening. Okay, I, I, I may, or may not be able to come to a, a June meeting. I've got some work happening, so oh. I won't be fully available mm -hmm. like okay. I have been. So I'll give you, I'll let you know, though, I, I should okay. be able to figure out my schedule. Well, we also can change dates and change times, you know, mm -hmm. it, it really it make it make it easier. Yep. Okay. Because yeah, I'm supposed to have a cataract surgery on the 22nd. And I have no idea because this is the first one. Right. No idea what restrictions are yeah. after that. I'm huh. guessing that they don't want you probably out in the sun a lot. No. Huh. Hmm. Right. Should we? Or strenuous. Should maybe I go off and think about before meeting before that? Uh, would that make any difference for you? No. Okay. No. Wouldn't. No. Okay. No. Okay. I would think that the 27th, I would be able to. You'd be all right. Motor about five days. Because I think there are limitations on. How how heavy something is that you can pick up too? I think yeah, that's right. That's right. That's probably um, okay to pick up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, um, I'm thinking like, is my vacuum cleaner too heavy? That yes, it is. <laughs> Give me excuse, not the vacuum. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. All right. At the um, grocery store, all the I don't know what it is. Is it the white hair? They all say. Do you need help getting these out to your car? Because, <laughs> you know, those bags, those wonderful plastic bags that they have, but, you know, the big ones. The big ones, yeah. You can get those a lot get heavy. in them yep. and heavy. Yeah. Yep. 
No, and I always true. I always tell them, I say, oh, n no, I don't need any help. I said, these are lighter than my vacuum cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's uh, look, let's assume June 27th. Um, but I will know more on Thursday, I hope, about what's what's happening next um, right. in terms of the actual cemetery. And, and so just the um, planting of time also, uh, we should you know, I think get on that too if we're going to yeah, be doing that. I, know, I agree because this is the best time to be planting yeah. stuff. Yeah, it really is. Um, Before the weeds get growing. Yeah, right. Oh, I just you know, there's just so many other garden mm -hmm. things to do. But um, well, you're talking about just doing a few tablespoons. We'll just try a few. Yeah. Try take a. As Tom said to do a plot. Right. And That's probably a good idea. And test plot and see how it works. See how that works. Well, Figure out the best place to do that. Yeah. Right. Where they're not doing preservation work. Oh, that's the other thing, too. Right. Yeah. Because <laughs> right. um, most of that time is in the old section. Isn't right. It? Yeah. Right. It, that's where it is. Well, we could we could choose one of the, the um, stones that's already been cleaned. Yes, that's a good idea. Let's do that. Um, yep. A grip of hull? Yeah. That, yeah. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah. That's a really nice one. Yeah. Okay. Did you say hull? No. That's a very nice one. Um, all right. So, so we just have to. Um, shall, I, shall I look at Make some dates? Date. Yeah. yeah. We should look. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's look at. Date. Let me grab my. <laughs> Okay. Well, it sounds like you're busier than many of us, so. Um, yeah, but unfortunately I don't have dates yet. So. Oh, <laughs> great. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm, a, I'm, I'm free this Friday, actually. 26th. Or into next week. I'm never free, but I'm often inexpensive. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Well, I could tentatively say yes for Friday this week. Yeah. Are you are you available also on Friday? I think I'm available Friday. Uh, Ten thirty. Ten thirty with teaspoons. <laughs> <laughs> that's right that's teaspoons or tablespoons <laughs> yeah maybe tablespoons i got an old spoon that was that my grandmother used for odd stuff this it's wonderful it, yeah okay and it looks it too uh-huh all right and i'm gonna see if i what i can find at home that i can use for that i mean something like that big maybe is what i'm thinking yeah, yeah. yeah just a, yeah the one i've got is like that big probably yeah. i've got a couple of them too i could bring an extra <laughs> one for you <laughs> oh that, that would be great yeah <clears throat> <clears throat> all right good so let's just you know we'll spend an hour doing that and see how see how it works you know um i don't know if there's Ooh, this, is, this is handy yeah um to water it when we get done no oh, i have a jug i can bring oh okay all right, good. All right, so we'll meet there. Sounds good. We're going to meet in the old section? Yeah, yeah. You're a busy guy today. I'm stoked, so I'm not ready for that. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> All right, we're actually done, guys. Yep. It was a very, but I, I, I just, I meant to say this in the beginning. I just wanted to thank all of you for all the work we did on the, the bylaws. I'm, I'm quietly proud of yes. what we did. It, it's, I, I hope the state approves. Yeah, I, I can't quite imagine them, but I, I'll be glad when it comes through. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll see you guys on uh, Friday. Friday. All right. Awesome. Good. All right.